exam soon. It has to open, surely. It has to do something. Shadowheart's attention is consumed by a strange box that she turns over in her hands. The box is inscribed with glyphs similar to those used by the Githyanki. Let me try it. I always enjoy opening up when I'm not supposed to. In an instant, Shadowheart hides the box from view. It's nothing, trust me. Beautiful evening, isn't it? I'm gonna use the parasite and see what she's hiding. You feel Shadowheart's deep protectiveness of the artifact. Though she doesn't understand it, she believes that her fate is entwined with it somehow. Admit it. There's a cure for ceramorphosis in that thing, isn't there? Exactly. I'm just waiting for you to get really desperate before naming my prize. I'd like some time alone now. We'll talk soon. All right. Let's carry on. There you are. I was just thinking about you. Priorities. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. The moment when you bit me? The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you were my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Oh, you're looking at other necks? I'm hurt. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the Gif? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Something exotic, surely? An amnion liqueur? Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. Could I convince you to kill someone less useful, though? <laughs> No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Uh, probably Will. Interesting. I always thought he'd taste a little too sweet. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Good hunting. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Oh, I thought there was a question there at the end. <laughs> Shadow hearts. Let me guess. You were wondering why I was in pain before. Best if we just get the subject out of the way now. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. It's her punishing you whenever you do something bad, isn't it? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. And you just live with such a thing? How can you manage? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. All right. If it has meaning, it has meaning. That's how it is. Yeah, we still need to go meet Karlak. Oh man, she's gonna die right away. All right. 
Did we end up talking to the dead with this guy? The corpse regards you lifelessly. Tell me about any valuables you have. I pack everything I needed to find him. Who? Wolverine. My Wolverine. Why? Flames in the dark. His amulet found bloodied. Ah, well, whatever. Who are you anyway? Parkas. He called me Parkas. He? Find him. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Let's continue exploring the town. We have ogres. Level 4 ogres. I'm not scared of no ogres. I am scared of ogres, actually. <laughs> oh, man. We look so badass. No, chicken. Oh, straight to the face. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the absolute's chosen disciples. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I've seen few other ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Mm hmm. Forget the goblins, though. You should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Oh, look at... <laughs> Look at Shadow Heart with her hands crossed. She's just observing in, in disgust and be like, country folk. Uh, okay, so I it's... Uh, I wanted to intimidate them. I can't intimidate them. All right. 1,000 gold to be paid once the killing is done. All right. Calm now. An ogre feasts not on promises. All right, I'll give you 500 gold if I can call you into battle. A serenade to my ears and a boon to my belly. We've a bargain, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. All right. Lump War's Horn. Off they go. I'll kill you and get the money back, don't worry. <laughs> they just poofed into smoke. What about this dead tiefling? The tiefling's corpse stirs with the spell. You realize the tiefling's body has been torn open by huge hands. Well, what, what brought you here? Strange warriors. Gold. Skin. Silver blades. 
Quick afoot this one to avoid Githyanki hunters. Oh, the Githyanki. Where did you see those? Mountains. Road. Gate. All right, we're headed there later. Let's see what this does. Missing children. Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Ah, it's just the kids that, with the names that start with M. You know how it is. Them kids with names that start with M. Shabby wooden doors. In a cellar. Okay. We have a dungeon. Just some caskets. Not some caskets. Oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, Astarion, you're gonna be all right. We can put him to sleep. Can't, see, can't sleep undead. No, we cannot put him to sleep. Look, look. But we can make him laugh. What's your father? Vicious mockery in your face. Okay. Um, then... I'll move forward. With this advantage. Very nasty. Hmm. All right. Let's go. This is what I'm here for. Miss. Fly trap save. No cutting words. We're good. Stay in there. Time to strike. And another one. And that was that. See? Not too shabby. And I think that's that. I think they don't attack again. Don't mind if I do. No. You get free experience. Don't mind if I do? Yeah, they give 10 experience. This is a weird thing. What the fuck is that sound? Free for the taking. <laughs> Ooh, this one has a scroll of summon Quasit. That is weird. Why did the other one not have a a thing? Oh no. Oh, they're opening. I did it. I got myself into trouble. Okay, okay. Got to concentrate. You can you it's fine. Wait. That thing doesn't have what the fuck? <laughs> it was opening but it didn't do anything? <laughs> did you see? <laughs> There's nobody. Dude was back. Dude was knocking at the door, but nobody showed up. Ah, uh, poor you. Shall we dance? Yeah, we we shall. Like the Thou art sweaty. Sweat. <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> the fuck, Astario? You bow or you. Oh boy. Okay. Nice miss. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, terrible. What the fuck? The game is bugged. It's just opening that thing. What is going on? What the fuck? I will 
not no failure. In, mean, mean, in the meantime, Asarian just keeps getting smacked. But I saw something here, like a, a pickaxe. Don't mind if I do. Dark journal. Search the cellar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Better be cautious. Oh, now you're smart. Okay. Well. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. Turn undead. Did it do turn undead? I don't know that it did. Can you do this? Oh yeah, you are turned. It did work. Another fight. Let's go. No need to save versus that. Time for a couple. Pretty good. That's even better. You just need to wait. And they uh, they fall, and that was I uh, sixteen strength and and a normal weapon. I have proficiency, but still, you can cheese that. Yeah, I don't know how how else to cheese these. Uh, although it seems the game is having some scripting errors because they were trying to open the the things and it wasn't working. Ooh, what is this? Speak your name. My name. I'm gonna examine my appearance. You do your best to wipe the dirt from your face and look presentable. Adventuring is murder on one's wardrobe, though. I look pretty good. Speak your name. Oh, Illentoth. Yeah, I read a book about it. I see you were shaped by darkness, not light. You are not Illentoth. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Open, or I'll smash you to pieces. Bad luck be damned. It's not, it's not canonical. There's no bad luck in um, in this. Uh, <laughs> there's no bad luck in D and D. Get a little bit of bardic inspiration as well. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then. Thank you very much. Oh, there's skeletons. I wonder whose skeleton this is. What is that? True resurrection. I have reached the limit of my skill and resources. The book offers help. Dare I accept? Yes. Where's the book? Here's the book. The Necromancy of Thay. But it's trapped. Keep a blade close. Not trapped anymore. Should I be the one to do this? Let's move. I think I should. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You feel the darkness radiating from the book. It's delicious. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Can he actually open it, I wonder? Well, we have the amethyst that goes in it. I'm doing this in honor mode. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I could give the book to Astarion. That wouldn't be too bad, actually. But, no, I'm going to open the book. I'm the one that keeps the power. The book's pull is 
is irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. That's what I have my team for. Saving throws, let's go. Because we can have bonuses for days. We're gonna succeed, don't worry. This is what I made this team for, is this sort of interaction. The symbols dart beneath your eyes, warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. Yeah, we can do this. Hell yeah. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Ooh, we can welcome the darkness in the name of my god. I, I will. It's a wisdom check, but it probably gets me advantage. Or it's an easy wisdom check. Okay, Bardic Inspiration and Owl's Wisdom. Uh, can't do both. So I'll roll Bard Bardic Inspiration instead. Well, I have inspiration for this. Yeah. Okay. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. You struggle to cling to scraps of what you know. Powerful necromancy, you're sure. But it darts away, leaving only hell's screams. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. No, I should. I should. That's This is what I'm here for. So I got Speak with the Dead as an ability, which means I don't need to wear this. That's nice. And Forbidden Knowledge. From partially deciphering the necromancy of Thay, you gain a plus one bonus to wisdom saving throws and ability checks. That is really good. That is, that is amazing, I love that. Let's go. Whew, I did not know that happened like that. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, they may be locked away forever. Well, I'll ca carry the book then. Twisted Binding. What's that all about? Is it the book specifically? Look away. <laughs> no, it's the book. The book is a, a... Yeah, okay. Perfect. It's bound to me. Anyway. We got the book. We have what we came here for. We have a bone. And we are very far away from leveling up, which is fine, because we killed a level 5 spider, which is a really big deal. That is a really big deal. Ooh, more drow poison. That is incredible. I love that. And we're out of here, I think. Because now... We have done everything that we have to do in this village. And we're about to go meet Karlak and potentially kill her. Or get killed. No, wait, she's level one. She's gonna die. Let's go. We got Aenus. Level one Aenus. Should mind my step. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. They didn't. Just want a little look. Uh, I want to talk to the hyenas. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. I forgot. I forgot. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. Oh, no. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. 
You watch with cold realization. Enter combat. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. We're gonna be fine. Gnolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Strike while the beast is vulnerable. Let's go. Hell yeah. Get a little bit of bless? Not really. We have advantage. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Okay. Are they all gonna turn? They are. Yenagu's hunger. Oh, where are you going? Don't go. Watch it. The hyena's going for help. No, she isn't. I crouched. Every breath, a purpose. Uh, did I say she? I did say she. How do I know? Did they treat the hyenas as she? I think so. I say she because I'm Portuguese. Hyenas are feminine. It's like flies. You know how you know how la romance languages are. Out of the shadows. <laughs> oh. Okay. Time to meet your maker. Hell yeah. Okay. It's a good start. And now we just stab them all. That's pretty good. Uh, mistake. Is it pretty good? Yeah. It's fine. Oh, crap. I thought they were gonna die. And they didn't. Oh, boy. All right. Um. Well, this one needs to die. I am dead. All right. With a critical, that's a little bit overkill. But the gnolls are gonna be the, the biggest problem here. So let me try to goad cutting words oh yeah and goaded has been applied okay that's pretty good Blood comes easy these days and uh, hopefully I'll just be able to help shadow heart hope your soul is in good health. ensnared okay that's not too bad not too bad There's blood in the air. and now you should have disadvantage oof nasty Quite a lot of damage there. To focus. But. Ooh. There you go. That's a miss. Not attacking. Lazel, that is interesting. The place is overrun with moles. Is there no corner of this plane they don't infest? Well, we keep finding things being killed by them, so I suppose they're everywhere. But this is good treasure. What do we have? Shipment orders. Open it, and I will know because you will be dead. Find the missing shipment. I will. What are you carrying? Wizard shipment chest. What happened to the chest? Rogan protected it. That's where I'm going. Yes, I will find the missing shipment. Oh, big doors. They're blocked? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. Why are you so dirty? The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. Well, that's what you get for doing wrong things like fighting devils. I'll see you later. And I think I can... Be brief. Need any supplies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've... Oh, you... Wait, what? More Oh, I, I just wanted to trade. What happened? Are they temporarily? No, it's very permanent. I didn't even, I skipped the line. Okay. Oh, you, death. 
All right. Uh, well, I was going to kill them anyway because they were, they're fighting devils, so they're evil. I mean, they're good, which means they're evil. You know what I mean. You know, they're, yeah, we're going to be fine. Um, okay, so there's a big guy in there, level 5, and uh, we're going to need to worry about that. 